Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R750 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on how to rack your R750. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R750 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's go ahead and hop in. This video is gonna be specifically dedicated to how to rack your R750 server. So it's gonna be fairly simple. We're gonna take our rails here, we're gonna put them into the rack, and then we're gonna drop our R750 in there. Literally just gonna drop it. Now we'll show you exactly how to do it step by step, but before we do, I'm gonna grab my ASD gear, be right back. All right, have my ASD gear on so we're safe to go ahead and put our server into the rack. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab our left front rail. It's gonna be labeled right here. It's gonna say left front. And if you notice, it also says B6. That is the uh, type of rail that you're gonna use for the R750. So Angel, let's go ahead and line this up on six and seven. So we're gonna do this with two guys. It makes it a lot easier. So essentially there's gonna be a couple of pegs in the front that you just want to line up and we'll show you it close up here in a second. And you just literally click it into place. So now if I try to pull it out, it is physically locked into place. All right. And then you can take your inners and slide them out and they will actually lock into place. And we'll show you those in just a second as well. Let's go ahead and hop into the right rail. All right. So now we're going to do the right rail. This is going to say front right B6 again. So we're going to go ahead and just line it back up on six and seven. And these are the pegs that I wanted to point out that you're going to go ahead and lock into place are just these pegs and these clips will then hook on. So let's go ahead and do uh, six and seven again, Angel. And after he locks them in, then I'm just going to go ahead and put them into place right here and then lock them in. And you'll notice if I try to pull this out, it is physically locked into place and I can't remove it. Now, if you're at home and you're going, hey, how do I actually get this out of my rack, which is a great question, this blue button right here, you're just going to push this forward and pull this out and then now it will release and you can take your server or take your rails out of your rack. So I'll go ahead and show that one more time. Let's go ahead and line this back up. So it's clicked in, locked into place. I can't physically move it. And then we just take our blue clip and we'll pull this forward and we can take our rails out of our rack. All right, so now we're gonna take our server and actually physically put it into the rack now that we have our rails in the rack. So you're just gonna take your inners and simply slide them out and you'll see it will click and lock into place right here. So we're gonna slide these out as well. So on the inners, you will notice there's a button right here. So if you did want to push this back, you would just push this button and this will unlock it and then go back into place. So that is how you would unlock your inners, but once you pull it out here, it locks into place to make it easier to drop your server in. The other thing I wanna note is there's gonna be four carved out notches that th there will be some rivets that Angel's gonna show right here. So we point out the rivets for me, Angel. So those four rivets we're going to basically drop into place. So you got the back side. So let's do the back ones first. Let me actually hold this up one second. I'm gonna get my hands under the rails. I need to get your hands under the rail, you good. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop this into the first slot. So go ahead and pop it down. And then essentially, almost like a hinge, we're gonna be able to just set this down and get this into place. So everything is physically locked in, so neither of us are holding it. It's into place. I always like to start with the back ones because you can just kind of set them in and everything will line up properly. And then again, if we wanted to push this back, you couldn't, it's locked into place. So Angel and I are gonna push the buttons on the side and this will slide in smoothly. And now we have put our R750 into the rack. All right, so our R750 is physically locked into place right now. So if we wanted to take it out of the rack, we wouldn't be able to. You see it's just locked into place. So what we're gonna do is actually push these two buttons up. And when you do that, you can physically slide this out. Okay, so again, we'll do that one more time. Lock it into place, and then just push this button up, and then you can physically slide this out. So that's how you rack your Dell PowerEdge R750 server. If you're looking for any custom-built servers, Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center in your home lab's business. Please email us at sales at cloudengines.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.